Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In the last video, we created this wall in AutoCAD and then we did the calculations in Excel. Uh, today, I want to actually create it in Revit. So this is how the detail looks like. Uh, this is the wall itself. You see different layers here. I want to go to Revit, open a new file. This is going to be maybe metric architectural template. Okay. Uh, first thing first, I want to go to units, so type UN. Uh, I want to check two things. First, I want to uh, change the length to actually meters with three decimal places. And then I want to change this to energy. And on the thermal resistance, I want to make sure that this is set to a square meters Kelvin over watt. That's exactly what I want. If you are under our square feet degrees Fahrenheit per British thermal unit, that means uh, you are doing uh, a work in Imperial. I actually want to do it in metric, so I want to uh, keep in metric system. Okay, so now let's say I want to uh, draw a wall. Uh, I want to start with one of the regular walls, uh, or I can go to edit type, duplicate. I'm gonna name it my wall. Uh, the RSI is um, 3.85 based on here. So RSI effective is 3.85. Uh, okay, uh, okay, that's good. I'll go to edit. Uh, first thing first, let's see how many layers we have. Uh, we have actually from one to eight, we have eight layers. Uh, how about I start maybe uh, from the exterior to interior. So this side is interior, that side is exterior. I'll go with one air film layer. Let's go back here. So I want to add a layer, insert. I want to move it up. Uh, basically, that's more like a thermal air layer. That makes sense. The material in this case should be air. If I go to thermal properties of air, you see that we already have thermal properties. So this is good. I'll go with air. OK. Uh, and so far, you see that the resistance didn't change uh, because we didn't assign any thickness. Right. Uh, basically, the RSI for the first layer should be about 0 0.03. So let's see if I change this to like one millimeter of air, for instance, it's going to be 0 0.004. So let's go with that uh, because we cannot go lower than one millimeter for the thickness. But uh, when we get to the air layer on the other side, we'll adjust it to so uh, the total of the air on the two sides would be um, 0.15. 0.03 plus 0.12. Next, we have a wood layer, 13 millimeters. It's the finish layer. Uh, I'll go here. I want to add one more layer here. So insert, move this up. This is going to be my finish. I can put it number one. Uh, basically, if there is kind of a number here, one, two, three here, you see that uh, there are some numbers. It means that uh, the number has a priority when we connect them, they're going to join and the layer which goes with one is going to kind of join the other layer. So uh, I would prefer to keep a structure at one. I'll go with four here. This is going to be wood. Okay. And it's going to be 13 millimeters. So 0 0.013. This is going to be 13 millimeters. I can go to materials. So I want to create a new material. I want to name it as wood siding. And I want to go to this browser to see what type of wood we have here. When I type wood, uh, you see we have actually siding woods here. I'll go with one of these items for the siding. And you notice in some of the materials we have thermal properties, in some of them we don't. So I want to click here, add thermal properties, and it's going to tell me uh, to this menu again to select a thermal properties similar to that one. So I'm going to go with one of these woods, right, close this. Now it has some thermal properties. If I hit OK, you see some value here. However, if we want the material to be precise, this is what we need to do. If I go to wood siding, under thermal, you see that we have a kind of the thermal conductivity. If we want it to be really precise, we can back here 
and basically uh, thermal conductivity or K which is what over meter kelvins uh, equals the thickness or D over RSI okay so I have the thicknesses here this layer wood is 13 millimeters this should be in metric system so it should be in meters so this one has a thickness of 0 0.013 now if I uh, divide D by 0.14 so D over RSI, uh, the closest thing for the thermal conductivity of this layer should be 0 0.092857. You can maybe kind of go with four numbers after the point. That, so I want to go with this number 0 0.0929. I'll go back here. I want to change this to my own value 0 0.0929. That is correct. So I'm going to go with 0 0.0929. OK. As soon as I do that, you see that we are kind of much closer to the values we need to get. OK. Now, uh, let's go to the next layer. Next, we have the polystyrene. And that is 25 millimeters. So I'll go back. To my Revit file, I'm going to insert a layer, move this up. Actually, it should be here. So this is also my finished layer. And I want to go with a polystyrene. How about I create a new material? I want to rename this as polystyrene. I'll go to here. I want to search for polystyrene. Uh, I want to make sure that my spelling is correct, so I want to copy the name and I want to paste it here. Okay, I had a misspell somewhere. Now I want to go with actually extruded polyestyrene. Uh, we do have only expanded, so I'll go with this one, but I will change it after that. Okay, so I'll go with this one. And uh, here in the thermal properties, we have 0 0.035 for thermal conductivity. I'm going to go back here, just like before, divide the thickness to RSI. Thermal conductivity should be 0 0.0284. Okay, I'm going to actually go with the same properties here. So 0 0.0284, 0 0.0284. Okay, the thickness of the polystyrene is 25 millimeters or 0 0.025. So I'm going to assign 0 0.025. That's good. Next, we have the sheathing. I'll add a layer. It's going to be 11 millimeters. So I want to insert one more layer here. It's right below polystyrene. It's a finished layer. And I want to change this to sheathing and this is going to be 0 0.011 for the thickness. So I'll go here. This is supposed to be here. Uh, sheathing. I'll go to the browser. I'm going to see what we have. I'll go with one of these items. Close this. Uh, okay, now we have physical, but we don't have thermal. So I want to actually add thermal properties here. It's going to take me back. I'm going to type sheeting again. Okay, now in order to be precise, I'll go back to my file. And I want to divide the thickness by RSI. So this is going to be 0.1. Okay, let's get back here. I'm going to assign 0 0.1 to thermal conductivity. Okay, everything else is good. Now we actually need to take care of the main structure. Uh, basically, I can uh, leave it as a structure. For the material, I actually want to create a new one. I'm going to name this as uh, studs plus insulation. Okay. Uh, and I want to go with like one of the wood layers or something that we had before. And I want to add a thermal item here. I'll go with wood again. Uh, I'll go with one of these woods. 
now we have thermal now just like before if we consider these two as one layer uh, I can do this I can divide thickness by RSI so this is 0 0.0562 let's get back here that should be 0 0.0562 that's the uh, studs and insulation combined okay the thickness is actually uh, this edge of the stud so as you see the thickness of this layer is 140 millimeters right so I'm gonna assign 140 millimeters or 0.14 I'm gonna change this to 0.14 uh, next we have actually the polyethylene so I can actually do this I'm gonna go here I'm gonna add a new layer It's gonna be down here I'm gonna change the function to membrane layer and I'm gonna create a new material rename it this is gonna be polyethylene or I can go with just vapor barrier okay okay and now because this is membrane I can just leave the thickness on zero so that's good let's go to the next one the gypsum board 12.7 that's good I'll go with this one gypsum board so let's get back here insert this is down I need to change this to finish layer let's go here we should probably have some gypsum thing over here yeah we do I'm gonna just make sure that the thermal properties is correct so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna divide thickness by RSI so this is point uh, 15875 I can actually go with four numbers after the point so it's going to be point 0.1588 let's come back here this should be point 0.1588 I forgot the point here so 15.88 there we go okay uh, the thickness is 12.7 so it's going to be uh, point 0.0127 as for the thickness here and then we have the air film so I'm gonna go with the air film so I'm gonna add one more layer it's gonna be again the air layer so insert all the way down this is thermal or air layer this is gonna be air okay and uh, let's see if that is point uh, zero zero one this should be 0 0.003 and now you see that we have the value 3.85 okay uh, it says layer function priorities cannot ascend from core boundary to the finish face okay that needs to be sending so if this is one that cannot be three and that cannot be three either so I might need to change this to uh, finish number five and the finish number five here that's good okay I can just draw this wall if I change this to fine you can see all the layers the good thing is that if I get a wall schedule here I want to go with wall uh, wall schedule okay I can go with uh, like the area of the wall right uh, I can also go with thermal resistance so I can move this to that side okay and you see we have only one wall here right I want to put these two side by side now you see uh, even in the schedule we get the number that we want